D-S-L-R Film Noob Alright, so I wanted to convert this V mount into a gold mount So I got a plate, a cheap one for 15 bucks Took off the V mount And uh, saw this, which wasn't too encouraging Because I had an idea none of the holes were going to line up But I went ahead, unsoldered it uh, marked one of the cables as positive because of course uh, you know it wasn't marked at all it's just two black cables went ahead and measured the holes out with my calipers printed out a quick uh, little test print to make sure all the holes would line up that my printers calibrated properly and the holes were going to be where I put them screwed them in just to make sure that everything lined up right and it did so I went ahead and made the whole bracket the big holes in the middle are just a space for the cables to go in as well as speeding up the print times you can see that I've sunken in the holes so I'm basically screwing the bracket to the metal and then uh, the smaller holes is where the gold mount will screw into it. Kind of the same way I would do it with wood, uh, just using the structure of the plastic to kind of hold it together. So, I mean, this was done cheap and on a, you know, on a budget. So you can get adapter plates for like 50 bucks. I was like, nah, I'm just going to spend 15 bucks and do it myself. So some heat shrink tubing. That part's, you know, pretty straightforward. You just solder the right cables to the right ends. I spun it around a few times to coil it up to kind of help it all stay together. Then went ahead and screwed it in. And for the most part, that was it. Um, batteries seemed to go in there pretty well. You can see I'm trying a few different types. And uh, then I banged it around for a bit just to make sure that it was going to hold up, you know, as well as I can expect it to. Uh, and that's about it. I'm uh, super pleased with how it all came out. And it's, it's something to try yourself.